Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calkai. Hi there, I'm James Preston for Calkai Media. Who'd have thought? Soccer in the middle of the desert, not such a great idea after all. As the clock winds down to the 2022 FIFA World Cup, it's becoming increasingly possible that the Qatar-hosted event will be an absolute train wreck. With the month-long tournament still yet to begin, comparisons have already been made to the Fire Festival, the ill-fated music festival that saw hundreds of people flock to a remote island only to find half-finished accommodations and, well, hell on earth. Photos snapped of the Qatar accommodations built specifically for the mass sporting event show rows of white tents with flimsy entrances and cramped spaces, eerily similar to the 2017 Fire Festival, which, after staff shortages, dismal accommodation and the cancellation of musical guests, had to be shut down, leaving hundreds of millennials stranded on the Bahamas island. Qatar has set up around a thousand of these tents in the north of Doha, but organisers say they have prepared backup rooms in the event of extreme weather, such as sandstorms. FIFA has maintained the tent accommodations will provide fans with a unique experience, which will allow fans to connect with Qatar's culture. During the tournament, the country's population of around 3 million people is expected to grow by another million. However, Qatar has less than 31,000 hotel rooms and 130,000 rooms in alternate accommodations. Qatar has reportedly spent around 175 billion euros or 309 billion Aussie dollars to host the World Cup, with most of that money having been spent on construction. However, it seems not enough has been spent on the construction of hotels, leaving many to wonder if the country is heading for a month-long disaster. Checking with VAR, this one might well be disallowed, but what are your thoughts on Qatar hosting the World Cup? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share the video. For more content, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. I'm James Preston for Calcone Media.